Good morning, Saints. My name is Jack, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to share with you this morning. I hope we are all still keeping well in our own homes, washing our hands, or sanitizing them, and maintaining social distance, praying that God will get us through this pandemic. I'm reading from the book of Judges this morning, and it's in uh, uh, chapter 7 from verse 1. Early in the morning, Jerubal, that is Gideon, um, and all his men camped at the spring of Harod. Harod means trembling. Most likely a proper definition of how the Israelites felt when they at this particular place. The camp of Midian was north of them in the valley near the hill of Moreh. The Lord said to Gideon, you have too many men. I cannot deliver Midian into their hands or Israel would boast against me. My own strength has saved me. Now announce to the army, anyone who trembles with fear may turn back and leave Mount Gilead. So 22,000 men left while 10,000 remained. Wow! More than 50% of the original army basically trembled with fear, looking through the camp of their enemies. And I can imagine, I mean, most likely you and I could have felt the same way. You are just about to fight. The people, the Bible says that they were like a swarm of locusts and you only had 32,000 people to fight them. I have a feeling that was not a sufficient number. So hence they trembled with fear. Now in verse 7, um, uh, it says, The Lord said to Gideon, With the 300 men that left, I will save you and give the Midianites into your hands. Let all others go home. So there comes 32,000 then cut down to 10,000, then cut down to 300. And you're thinking a swarm of locals of an army is about to fight against the 300, only 300 men. I mean, you don't have to have a second brain cell to think this was just an unfair fight. But yet, that's how God wanted it to be because he wanted to show himself that he is the God of the impossible. See, what am I saying this morning? Exactly that. He is the God of the impossible. You see, there are many times in our lives when we feel overwhelmed by our surroundings, when we feel like everything is just too much. And, and moreover, we don't even have answers as to how we're going to pull through this particular difficult situation. It just feels like, you know what, we're not going anywhere. We are already defeated. I mean, it's a human nature to feel that way whenever there's too many things to process in our own minds. But yet, See, when we are in such kind of situation, God is still God of the impossible. See, exactly what he did to Gideon and his army. I was says 300 men. And when you read through the story, they did defeat this force, this swarm of locusts, the same swarm of locusts that seemed to be impossible, that others even trembled against. But they were able to defeat them because God was with them. So this morning, let's not give up. Let's fix our mind. Let's fix our hopes on, on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Because when we do that, he has a greater plan. He's able to do far more than our minds can ever think. At times we don't even have answers. We don't know how long will this thing last. We don't know how we're going to find solutions to our immediate problems. We don't know. It's, it's, it's not always the case that we have solutions to our own problems. But God has. God has a plan. God is able to do even beyond our own imaginations. He's able to give us things beyond our own comprehensions. So this morning, let's not give up. Let's make sure that we fix everything, our hearts and our minds, onto him because he knows uh, the end from its beginning. And uh, God will be able to, to lead us through into victory. May you have a lovely morning. May you remember that the God that we serve is a God of the impossible. Amen.